Hi, I'm Fabian and welcome to the channel. So after popular demand, in this one I'm talking about my beloved Loudon O10 acoustic guitar. This guitar was made in 1994 in Northern Ireland and it's an O10 model, which is a jumbo model, and it has cedar top and mahogany back and sides. So first I want to talk about the, the details of this guitar and then I'll talk about the, the history and the story of this one. Uh, it's so simple and beautiful in its tiny little details and simplicity. Uh, that's one of the big reasons why I just love this guitar. The bridge is made out of mahogany and possibly the binding too, although I'm not 100% sure, it also could be walnut. Loudon guitars have a very recognizable bridge. It's very simple and beautiful in its own way. It's, so it's a through bridge and they don't use pins, but the strings just go through a hole instead. The scale of this guitar is 65 centimeters and the nut is 4.5 centimeters wide, which is quite wide for a steel string guitar. And that's one of the reasons also why I love these guitars is because they have a lot of space in between the strings. The simplicity of this guitar is I believe what makes it so beautiful. Everything from the very simple binding, the clear black ebony fretboard, it just looks and sounds beautiful. Also what I love about Loudons and particularly the O model, the jumbo Loudons, is that they really have a lot of depth. It's really quite wide here on the lower bout particularly and that's what gives it its, its huge cathedral-like sound. Even though it's a big guitar, it doesn't feel like it's a big guitar. The body fits under your arms nice and snug, and the neck's super smooth and plays just beautifully under your fingers. The sound of this guitar is rich and deep, but also crystal clear. It somehow manages to be able to play really well when you dig into it, but also sings when you play very quietly. And that's, for me, is one of the most important things, because I do play quite quietly a lot of the time. I like to have a lot of dynamics in my playing and to have something that is able to respond really well, even on the slightest touch, is super important. But one of the things I wanted to talk about was the history of this guitar. So it was made by George Loudon in Northern Ireland in 1994, and it was actually shipped from Northern Ireland to the United States and someone bought it there in Nashville. And then that person had it for a while and then they decided to sell it online and that's where I found it. So I actually bought this without even looking at it, which I don't recommend at all. And the only reason I did that is because I've seen these guitars before, this particular model, and I'd played it before and I knew what they felt and played like. So then I had it shipped from the States all the way to Italy where I was living at the time. And then it went from Italy to London and I moved to London and it stayed there for a while. And now it's come to Germany where I'm living right now. So it's been all around the world and it's had a lot of mileage on it. And that's not including all the touring and traveling I've done all over as well. And I want to actually share a story with you, that something that happened in London back in 2011, 2012, something like this. I was actually living in London on a canal boat and this particular afternoon it was pouring down with rain and I went to go and visit a friend of mine that lived on another canal boat. And then when I came back, I saw that my boat had been broken into and my guitar was stolen. And I was completely devastated. I couldn't believe it. This was my prized possession. This was everything to me and it was gone. So I went through the whole process of reporting it to the police and they took a statement and that was that. I thought, 
I'd never really see it again. Like a lot of these stories, I think very rarely do actually people get their stuff back. But about a week or two later, I was scrolling online. I thought I'd have a look to see uh, if I can find it online. And sure enough, I found it for sale and I knew that was my guitar. So I called up the person that had it for sale. I arranged a meet. Uh, I pretended like I was a buyer and I went round and sure enough, it was my guitar. So this person was trying to sell me my guitar. Obviously, he didn't know that I was the owner. So then I basically told him, okay, I'm gonna buy it. Let me just go out and uh, I'll get some cash and then I'll come back and I'll buy the guitar. And then he thought, great, okay, no problem. So I went out and obviously I didn't, I didn't get the cash. I called the police instead and sure enough, they came and they arrested him and I got my guitar back. And that was the best feeling in the world. I couldn't believe I got my guitar back. I couldn't believe that this person was trying to sell me my guitar back to me. So that's a story that I like to tell about this guitar. You know, there's very few guitars that I would say I would never sell. And this is definitely one of them. I would actually describe this as my forever guitar. I'm gonna keep it for the rest of my life. And I like the idea that musical instruments have stories. They've gone from person to person, especially really old instruments. And I like the idea that it will outlive me and it will go on to the next person. Maybe it will go on to my son or maybe it will go on to someone else. I don't know, but this one I'm definitely keeping for the rest of my life. So I hope you enjoyed that video and you like that little story. Let me know in the comments below if you have any forever guitars and does it have any interesting stories? I'd love to know. Thanks so much again and I'll see you very soon.